Bonjour everyone, uh, greetings again. Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everyone, I'm back in Paris, but this time I'm not alone. Hello. Hey, this is Julio. Greetings from Brazil. So why are you in uh, Paris right now? Well, now I'm just taking this adventure mm -hmm. with Madeline to see how things work here. <laughs> I don't know anything yet. So she's gonna be my guide and my translator. <laughs> Everything is possible because without her, I'm no one here. Hey everyone. So as you can tell from the footage, my friend Julio came to visit me last weekend. He's actually um, been in Liverpool studying English. Julio is one of my friends that I met in Brazil. And when he told me that he was going to England, I said, oh, we should meet up. So I thought maybe he could come to Paris. And I had to say that we had an excellent time in the city. One of the funniest things that happened when he got here was that we spent half an hour trying to find our hostel. I think one of the most epic things that has happened so far is that it took us how long to find our hostel? Like about half an hour just <laughs> to find and to go around the same place. And we asked seven different people, uh, where's the street? And <laughs> eventually we found After it. After we got settled in the hostel, we decided to go out into Belleville. Belleville has a lot of Chinese restaurants and kebab places. So we went to a kebab restaurant. Right now we are, we just left the hostel. We are going to find something to eat. Or to have a quick bite. Yeah, just uh, something to snack on because it's kind of late for dinner. Um, but there are some things, yeah, there are some things that are open. We are in uh, Belleville, which is a, a neighborhood in Paris. There's a lot, we've noticed there's lots of Chinese restaurants around here. What are your thoughts on kebabs? <laughs> so good. So good. I can't really make out how good it is, really. Kebabs. Kebabs. Kebabs is perfect. No, it's amazing. The next day, on Saturday, we got up early and we took several metros and an RER to the Palace of Versailles. Hello. Hello. Can you say what we're going to do today? We're going to go to Versailles. 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 Yeah, that's really good. Cool. Yeah, we're going to the place. Chateau de Versailles. The train is coming, so you better get in. <laughs> what is it that you can't believe? I can't believe that we are getting to Eiffel Tower, you know, little by little. We are cl we're closer than we imagined, so I was like, oh my god, I can't believe that I'm here! It's so nice, it's so enchanting, so emotional, so fantastic, mind-blowing, inspiring, and everything's possible you can ever see. Good adjectives there. <laughs> I don't know. Here it is, the Chateau de Versailles. Look at this, guys. Oh, wow. Six, yeah, the fifth or sixth time that Julio's told me that he can't believe he's here. Yeah, I can't believe the final. I never, I never expected to find such a beautiful and mind-blowing place to be here. You know, it's really, really amazing. This is the cat of Versailles. Swan friends and duck friends at Versailles. Julio was saying you could definitely easily spend the whole day I here. I could easily spend my whole day, my whole life. You really, you can spend your whole life at Versailles. My whole life at Versailles. <laughs> so I could become French. I could become French. Here. The Brazilian king of Versailles, everyone. <laughs> Brazilian king, and I could become fluent in French. So for me, that wouldn't be so difficult. <laughs> this is the third, yeah, the, the fourth time I've been to Versailles, and I'm completely amazed every time I come back. It also brings back memories, like right in front of me here. Uh, I ate at that restaurant with my dad the first time I went to Versailles, I think. Yeah, it was this one. We sat outdoors and we had lunch there. It was pretty cool. Uh. <laughs> Frolicking through Versailles. 
last time. <laughs> How do you feel being for the fourth or the fourth, the fourth, my fourth time, time here? here. I'm, like I said, I'm still yeah. amazed every time I come back. So we're heading that way to uh, the palaces, uh -huh. the other palaces, um, where Marie Antoinette would go. So it looks amazing. <laughs> The temple of love. Hi, oh. <laughs> I'm feeling like having a fairy tale now. So, yeah, this I'm is like a fairy tale, really. Yeah, this so. is like a fairy tale little village here. This is Marie Antoinette's little hamlet. So. <laughs> and over there, you can see another beautiful like. part of it. Yeah. Ooh, a day well spent at Versailles, I'd say. Yeah. Yes, that's right. One of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my whole life. Yeah, we and were saying at the at Marie, Anto at Marie Antoinette's hamlet, it's like a fairy tale town. Yeah. Like a fairy tale village. Like there's no white story. Yeah, like Snow White. <laughs> that was just... It was crazy. These <laughs> seagulls flew over our heads and then pigeons were flying toward us. We went, oh my gosh! We're, <laughs> we're laughing so hard. It was a morning well spent at Versailles. We saw the big palace and then we walked all the way to the Petit Trianon and to Marie Antoinette's Hamlet. And then after that, we headed back into the center of Paris and we walked by the Eiffel Tower and <laughs> Julio's reaction was priceless. <laughs> because we just saw the Eiffel Tower and Julio almost had a heart attack. Really? I almost had one. Like, I'm not supposed to have one of these kind of things, you know? No, but, but it's... I'm just speechless. So glad. It's the Eiffel Tower. It's so, so beautiful. <laughs> Basically, he couldn't speak. He had no words. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. So after the Eiffel Tower, we decided to go to the Champs Elysees, and we had some sandwiches at a shop. And then I told Julio that we had to try some macaroons, which I think is essential when you're visiting France because they are some of my favorite treats ever. I wanted to show Julio's reaction to eating a macaroon for the first time. Julio's first macaroon. <laughs> That's my first macaroon. Yeah. So let's see how it is. It shows the best files around here. It does. Mmm. 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 That's so good. Wait, what flavor is it? Is it like menta? It's mint? Something like menta well, sure and fire inside, or time mm -hmm. like a fire breathing guy. Mm -hmm. Sweet. I don't know how to call it. But is it's it? Sort of it's like different from what I'm used to. After eating macaroons, we headed back to the hostel to rest up for a bit, and then we went on a bar crawl, which was pretty fun. And we went to several different bars, clubs, and one nightclub, and it was pretty cool. The next day, Julio and I went on a walking tour. We went on one of those walking tours that have different themes. So we decided to go on a walk all about the resistance and the occupation. Hello, we are still in Paris. It's a very beautiful day. The sun is out. Blue skies. Now we're going to the walking tour. Yeah, we're going on a walking tour. The most expensive of the year. So we are at the park near the Sèvres Babylon uh, metro stop. It, this part is my favorite part of the park. It is beautiful. This is our new duck friend. I named it Filbert. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at him. After the walk, we walked, a li we walked for a little bit along the Seine River until we found the Notre Dame Cathedral. And then after that, we met up with some people in our hostel and we decided to see the Eiffel Tower at night. It has been a very beautiful day. I was surprised by the weather. 
I really thought that we were going to uh, get rain this weekend, but luckily we didn't, so that is awesome. Hello! So right now, uh, Julio and I are with people from our hostel. We are going to see the Eiffel Tower at night. It's going to be really awesome. Um, yeah, it's going to be really fun. That's such a better idea. I've seen the Eiffel Tower at night before, but it always amazes me every time I do. So. We are! <laughs> This is real. I feel like it's like, better I like, at than I day felt day. like breathless. I like when I first saw that, I was like, "This is real," or "You're kidding to me," or "I'm, I'm, I'm dreaming." No, it cannot be possible. Okay. It cannot be possible. You I'm basically here. have you basically have no words. No words. No words to describe how amazing, how beautiful it is. It's so huge. Look how huge. <laughs> and it's behind me. It's right behind me. Oh my God. Oh my god, you should have seen us earlier. We were screaming <laughs> when it started shimmering. Look at it now! Fancy! Getting back to the hostel was a funny story. We ended up getting back probably around 2 a.m. because we missed the last metro to Belleville and we had to find our way around. We ended up taking two night buses and then we just decided to get a taxi because <laughs> It wasn't worth it trying to get on several different night buses back. But I have to say, it was one of my favorite parts of the weekend because we really got to connect with the other people from our hostel. So on Monday, Julio had to head back to Liverpool. But on Monday morning, we had some time and we all decided to go to the Louvre. Hello, the interwebs. As you can see, behind me is the Louvre and the Glass Pyramid. To say that we're going to see Mona Lisa. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he really wants to see the Mona Lisa. <laughs> I know. Yeah, as I said, I'm at the Louvre with the same loft crew that we, um, we, we all went to the Eiffel Tower last night together. Now we're all going to the Louvre. So, it should be awesome. Moliere, my main man. And also my one of my favorite playwrights ever. After the Louvre, we all decided that we wanted some lunch. We went to Café de la Comédie, which is a café across from the Comédie Française. And after lunch, we all said bye to Julio, and I brought him back to the airport. Here are Julio's thoughts on his trip last weekend. What did you, you thought about your trip? Yeah, actually the trip uh, in general, it was beautiful. It was really worth um, I have no, I have no words to describe how happy, how grateful I feel for Maddie. You know, it, it was everything so beautiful. I couldn't, I wasn't expecting to find such a nice place as I did. And, and Maddie, it was really funny. It was really funny because Maddie was everything for me. She, she saved my life in all the ways. She was my translator. She was my guide. She was um, my teacher. Teacher, you know, yeah, teaching my teacher, English. teacher. She was. She's my friend. You know, above all, it was really nice, really nice. Yeah. She's. She was everything. I'd like yeah. to. I'd like to thank you so much for all that you've done You're for welcome. me so far. You're welcome. Because that was really, really, really priceless. I'm so grateful yeah. for you. Of course, it's always a little sad to say goodbye to a friend, but I have a feeling that our paths will cross again. Yeah, so. sure. Finally, we sure need to find so. again. Well, I you, hope that you have you. a safe flight back to England oh, and enjoy you. your trip. High five. So that was my weekend in Paris. The vacation was off to a great start. I had a really good time seeing a very dear friend. It's always sad to say goodbye to a friend, but I have a feeling that we'll see each other again in the future. And the people from our hostel were so nice. Honestly, I think it was one of the best weekends I've ever had. I hope that we stay in touch and that we are still connected. Thank you very much for watching my vlogs so far if you are. And I will see you soon. A bientôt. Oh my God!